Hi, my name is Steve Mueller, and uh, I have developed a highly automated spreadsheet for organizing and running pickleball shootouts. A shootout is a very competitive play for a fairly large group of players. You need a good 16 players to uh, m make it effective. In essence, what it is is that you're from week to week you're tracking the scores of individual players and then assigning their, their court assignments the next week based on their total number of scores so that they're playing with people that have scored very, very close to what they've scored. So the, the competition is very competitive. You have your better players playing on the top court and then down from there as the, as the scores uh, go down. Um, if you downloaded the instructions with this template, there is a fair amount of detail on what a shootout is and how to organize one, so I won't go into a great deal of, uh, of detail here. What I do want to do here is introduce you to how to organize the spreadsheet and then just sort of demonstrate what, what you do with it from week to week. So this is the template and what we need to do is save it as a spreadsheet. So we're going to give it a title. I'm going to call this uh, 4.0 men and enter and that activates the save icon here. So if we click that we're now going to save it as a spreadsheet as opposed to a template. And it's our, we're just going to put our title in here. We'll call it uh, 2015 spreadsheet, or no, well, SS. And save. So there we are. Now, I want to give you a very quick tour of what we're looking at here. Over on the left hand side are all of our player records. So this is the first player, second player, and as we scroll down, we, we enter we can enter more players we can enter up to 150 players so let's just enter one here first player is going to be Horvat and Bo now you'll see what happens is that as I enter it on the first line it fills in the name for the next 20 weeks of scores and that will be in this area but also what's happened is that over here we have a list of rankings so all of the players that we enter in the records over here are going to appear over in the, on the rankings. And you can see that Bo Horvat's name is on there. And then also, this is a, over on the right hand side, this is a printout. And Bo Horvat's name is on there again. Now what we'll be doing with these list of, of players here is we'll sort this so that we've got the highest ranked player at the top and lowest at the bottom. That will automatically appear over here and then we'll print it and I'll show you how we, how we do that. Now I'm a, uh, just above a two finger typist, so I am going to pause this and enter the rest of the data. Okay, so as you can see, I've entered the data for the 20 players, and I've also entered their scores from the first week's shootout. Now I just have one left to do, and that's the 20th player, Steve Mueller, and I just want to show you how you can find records. Like I said, we could have 150 players here, so when you go to enter their scores, it, it can be a bit of an issue trying to find it. So if you click on Control F, you'll see a little box appears down at the bottom here. Control F, Control Find. And in there, if we just type the name of the person that you're looking for and hit Enter, boom, there's the 20th one record, and Steve. If there were two Steves, you just go to the next one. Or you can use the last name to find it. Now Steve had a phenomenal day on the courts, really amazing actually. He got 65 out of 66 points. He won all three games on court two, went up to court one, and won all three games on court one. So he had a score of over 110 points. If we go up to the top, we will see that all of our players are now listed here in the rankings, including Steve Mueller at the end there, the one we just put in. And what we need to do now is we need to sort these because they're all humble j mumble jumbled here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to data and we're going to select a range. And the range we're going to select is ranking sort range. Click OK. And you can see that it selects all of these columns. Now we want to sort it so we go back up to data and sort. And now we're going to sort on column R. Column R here is the one that has all of the scores in it. Now, it's mine is on column or R already, but it could have been on something else. So you may have to use this drop-down menu, select column R. And we want to do that in descending order. So we want to have the top-ranked player at the top and then going down from there. Click OK. 
OK. And boom, they're all sorted. Steve Miller is the top player at 110. Henrik Sedin is at the end at 70.93. And you'll also notice that over here on the right, all of our rankings are now listed over there. So now if we hit Print Preview, there's our ranking printout. And this is what we would post to let the players know how they're ranked after last week's. And so this would be accumulative scores, and this would be uh, how, we, how they're ranked as of the last shootout. The date on it is the date that it was printed, so they'll know that it's, that it's uh, a recent uh, uh, printout. So all you would do here is just print. We'll just close that. Now I want to show you another feature. Um, as you have your sign-up sheet, and you get the people that are saying that they're going to be there next week, if you just put a 1 in... Oops. Oops. <laughs> Let's undo that. Actually, that's a mistake that I'll show you how we can correct later on. But we just want to put a one in this column for each each person that is going to show up uh, on the following week. And as you'll see, as I'm doing that, they're duplicating over on the on the uh, right hand side there. Now, we've been working on the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet actually has two sheets. And we've been working on the first sheet down here on the right you'll see that the second sheet is called this week's players if we click that we'll see that the players that, that we tick their names off are now all listed there it also tells us that we have 17 players so this is very helpful in organizing who's going to play and how many courts you're going to have how many players in each court for the for the next week and so what it's giving you is it's telling you 17 players which means that you're going to have three courts that have four players on it for 12 and then one court that has five on it and that'll give you the total of 17. Now the players are also ranked so these first four players will be on court one and these next four players will be on court two and so forth until you get to the to the last five it'll be on court four. So you print this off and this will help you set up your uh, your uh, shootout for that week. Now I'm just going to show you, so you have your second week of shootout and now you come back here and we're going to enter Bo's things. He didn't do quite as well this week. He only had 55 out of 66 points. Um, he was on the top court though and he got two um, wins on court one but he went down and then only got one on court two not a good day. So what you'll notice here is that last week's score was 99.66, this week's score is 92.08, and his cumulative score is now 95.87. So it's an average of these weekly scores. You'll also notice that over on Bo Horvat here, 95.87, his accumulated score is in there ready to be sorted. Now I want to show you one other thing here. Um, Earlier on there, I made that mistake of entering the one here. Now, if you start making some mistakes like that, it's gonna you're gonna mess this whole thing up. And this area, this whole area, is vulnerable to mistakes because I've protected most of these other cells. The only place that you can really enter things is where the data can go in, but you can't really change any of these other other, other cells because there's there's formulas that are in there. Let's show you one of the formulas here. There's a formula there that, well, anyway. Um, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm off track here. What I, what I want to uh, show you is that, okay, so now this is messed up. And, and the, the reason it's messed up is that if we click on this cell, we'll see that this is the formula for that cell. But because I've entered a 1 in here, there is no formula. It's gone. So, I, so it really is kind of messed up. So the way we can get this back now is we go up to data and we select range and we select recover and OK. Now way over here to the right on the spreadsheet, it's selected all of these columns and these are the original formulas. So that it's all selected already. All we need to do is copy it and then we can either scroll way over this way back to the, to the, to the right or we can just hit the home key and you're back to the area where we're working. Now if you select P4, P4, 
4 and select that cell and then go up and paste it's going to give you this this uh, warning this warning is basically saying that you're you're uh, pasting data over data and we know that but we know what we're doing so just click yes and there you go all of our formulas are back and all of the players are listed there now again and the only thing is is that they're out of order in terms of the ranking so they're selected already all we need to do is go up and data sort column r descending okay and there we have, we've recovered all of our data and we're back to, to square one. Now, when we first put this out, there were some bugs, some major errors actually in this week's players. And what it did was it didn't rank them from top to bottom. So it really is not very helpful. So all that you can really do is um, download a new template as of this date we fix that error so that they are ranked and they'll continue to be ranked from from week to week if you've got a lot of data entered already and you're into your third week well this is a feature that you're just not going to be able to use this this uh, this time around the other thing is that um, we would like feedback on any any issues that you do uncover that uh, don't work for you and just feedback in general positive and negative um, we if here is the email address right here where you can write me and uh, I would appreciate any feedback. So that's about all I have to give you. Have fun with your shootout.